Okay, divas, I have an, another Dreamer design canvas for you. This is Antiques Antique Store. And it is a Bigelow Illustrations, 80 by 60. You know why I call you divas? Because you are divinely inspired, vivacious associates of mine. That's why I call you divas. Um, I hope you can join us on Tuesday nights for Tea and Talk Tuesdays where you can meet other divas of diamond painting and all kinds of crafty goodness. It's not just diamond painting around here. Check out the channel for other playlists and other good fine things. I do want to show you a little bit of extra that I purchased from Dreamer Design in order to make it, um, to get it to some free shipping. <laughs> so I'll show you that in a moment <clears throat> after I open up the kit box. Let's take off the weatherproofing. Thank goodness, wet for weatherproofing. Thank goodness. And they do come with the handle so that you can cart them from wherever you got them to wherever you want them to go. And we have all kinds of good stuff around the canvas, the box, I'm sorry, and even a 15% off scannable coupon. But remember, you can always get 15% off down in my uh, description box below. So as I'm opening up these goodies, I do love one of the features of that Dreamer Design always has had is a big picture on the end of the box of what it entails. This is going to be another uh, fully confetti <laughs> kit. All right, so I wanna show you the other things I got. I just decided, uh, oh, they are. All right, ordered four of the little wax Tubs. You can put your own wax in if you want, or their wax. Um, I have in my, like I said, in my Etsy shop, I have uh, little tubs of wax that I've made as cover minders because I like to have them right handy, right on my canvas as I keep dipping in. So, uh, and I like to put the bigger discs on the back of them. Here they have the little discs, but, and they're empty, but it doesn't matter. These are little gems. They're really pretty. Uh, so I'm going to use these to put some wax in too. Mine at Etsy shop have really pretty things on the top of them and I hope that um, they appeal to you as well. Okay, so. Divas, my divinely inspired vivacious associates. This is Antiques Antique Store from Dreamer Design. Take it out of the box to show you. Are we wide enough to see what's going on? Okay, out of the canvas bag it comes. Ugh. Come on now. Take off the purple ribbon. You'll notice first thing about the canvas it is that it's nice, beautiful, um, felty flannel on the back. And it comes with an anti-fray pinked and poked edge. At the top, you get a thumbnail of what the kit's going to look like and all the pertinent information. At the bottom, you get your warranty against any missing design diamonds or anything wrong with your kit. <clears throat> Let me roll it. I like to roll them because it just helps it flatten out for me. And it helps me drop all the goodies out so I can show you those first. All right, put that off to the side for a second. The drills will be off to the side for momentarily. You get the full picture of what the kit will look like and a sticker uh, that you can use in your notebook and you have lots of little stickers around it that are fun. You have individually cut stickers here that you can use to kit up. I love the way Dreamer Design has their drills in sequential number so that it makes it super easy to kit up that way. And the cut labels, you have um, 64 colors in this kit. One, two, three, four, five, six are Aurora Borealis, and I'll tell you about those in a moment. 
and they're always at the end of their list. You can see the sequence number, you can see the very clear symbol, and you can see the DMC color code number on them as well, and this helps you kit up. Along with your kit, you get a little purple pamphlet that gives you instructions and tips and tricks and a thank you note and another um, coupon and also the social media that if you put your stuff up on the social media, you tend to get points off of your next kit. Here is the little kit, this soft flannel little bag and the goodies in the kit. No surprises here, but I do love the goodies that they contain in the kit. First, you get this awesome tray. And I like the tray because it has this little flip down funnel. Very easy to use. You get, see where's the other one? I didn't, did I dump it out? There's usually two. Okay, this kit only came with one, there's usually two, but you have a tray divider in here so that you can do two colors at one time. You just need a little brush to brush them out of the kit. When you are finished, you get two rounds of purple wax. With rounds and squares, you get the Dreamer Design Tweezers, which is nice and sturdy and sharp. You get a bag of baggies to help you kit up you get two squishies because you get two pens. One with the typical copper top and the other with the plastic tip that goes good for your Aurora Borealis. And you get three of the multi-placers. One is a two-placer and one is a five-placer, I believe, five or six. And this one is a straightener for the other end of your kit and caboodle here. Now, let's look at this sumptuous sumptuous canvas here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All right. I see some surprises in it already. Do you? There is a lot to see in this canvas, Divas. A lot. Uh, huh. Antique store. Hmm. It says odds and ends annex on this end. You have, this is one of those kits that as you do it, you will be finding things you didn't even know were there when you're looking at it. It's an old red barn. It has a windmill at the, this side, like an old Kansas windmill. Up there, it has an, a biplane, an antique biplane. It has a big red tractor. It says, welcome on the tractor. It's got this ladder type thing that's leading up into the, the top. It looks like there might be books in the top. Uh, it's got signs outside. It's got a wagon wheel. It's got an old iron chair, like a porch chair. It's got a wheelbarrow with some goodies in it. <clears throat> it's got some kind of a, a round sign here. Squares and rounds and all kinds of things all over this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I can't even describe all that's in here. Of course you have flowers and flower baskets. And you have a, like a, almost a fall, like a yellow and brown leafed tree. You have a sunset. You have purple and pink in the sky for the sunset all the way across. It's like evening. You have a pink field in the back. Maybe that's good for uh, like harvest day time. You have a, um, a horse as a weather vane up here. You have two Pennsylvania Dutch hex signs. Yeah, that's my heritage in there. You've got lots of goodies. Let me uh, take a peek here. There's some chest of drawers in the background in here. There are different kinds of chairs that you can see. Different signs. Let's see. <clears throat> You've got like a sewing machine or some kind of a, an implement here. Kind of looks like our barn if it was an antique store. Of course, you never know. It's got some paintings and it's got this is really cool. This glass looks like smoky glass. Like it's old glass. And it's got a big mirror on this side. It's got some teapots on top of the red wagon. The red tractor. Isn't that awesome? Yay for teapots. And it looks like it's got wind chimes, you know, with the shells that go around. 
wind chimes on the side there. Just take, I want you to take a look at the close up of this picture again. Tell me what you see in this picture that I didn't mention. There's a lot of things in there. Every, when you do it, as you do, put down each diamond, you will find more things in there than I can count. <sighs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, so let's get started on this gorgeous canvas, shall we? <clears throat> on the diamonds. On the diamonds. The diamonds come in two packs that are labeled as to what they are. I love that the diamonds are lined up sequentially, like from one to, in this case, 64. <laughs> it makes kitting up very easy. So let me open these up, get them ready to show you. Okay, here are the drills. If you'd like to see the numbers and for some reason the number isn't clear as I'm showing them, and you have a question about the colors, feel free to email me at wandasworkbasket at gmail.com and I will be glad to answer your question or copy or email you a copy of the of the um, the sticker so that you can see all the colors and symbols that are in the kit and then you'll know for sure and i'm hoping you're getting a glimpse at these gorgeous colors you know they say that dreamer design has these saturated colors and i love that i really love that <clears throat> our life needs to be saturated with color the absolute beauty that can be ours there's so much to see in this painting you could be looking at it for hours. If you have someone in your life that is really sedentary, that uh, can't read anymore or has, has trouble with that kind of thing, uh, who maybe has comprehension problems, something like that, a painting that has a lot of individual things that they can search. It's like, you know, a Where's Waldo picture. Um, yes, you need decent eyesight to see things like that, but there's so much to see in a picture. One day you'll see one thing, another day you'll see another thing. And I think this is one of those paintings. I just had to have it. So the hex signs outside the, the uh, barn, uh, some people call them barn stars. That's something different, actually. The barn stars are to hold the barn together from the outside, but anyway, um, the, the Dutch hex signs on them, Pennsylvania Dutch, uh, Pennsylvania Deutsche, um, that they each have a bless. it's a blessing, really. It's a barn and field blessing to, to ward off evil spirits. Um, it's got a bad connotation from, you know, hearing the word hex these days, but they're actually blessings. There are prosperity and meaning good marriage and prosperity and all that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to showing you and telling you more about that from my heritage as time goes on. Okay, so let me bring you out so you can see the whole canvas and find out where on earth is Waldo San <laughs> is uh, Carmen San Diego in this picture. Am I right? All right. Let's find out where these wonderful things go. Let's start at, well, we can go to the top of the bottom, 53, uh, 59 this time. The canary yellow is the check mark, and they are easy to see. I have a few of them up here in the decoration up there. They're all over the tree. Yep, they're all over that yellow tree. There's some in a line here. There's a few here. There's some in the tractor and in the bush here. Tiny little bit there, dots of it there, a line of it here. It's mostly in lines and outlining certain features. So that is that one. Then we have the, the white 
the white AB, that's the sparkly Aurora Borealis, that is the zeros and they are in here in the glass, pieces of the glass, parts of the glass, like the top corners. Um, and in the top of the antique sign and in the antiques wording at the top, you've got some in the biplane, you've got this odds and ends annex. I like, this is kind of different. It's, it's a sign with the white letters rather than black, so I like that. This dartboardy thing, which is not a dartboard, but there's some white in there, there's some in here. <clears throat> so you have it scattered all over, and particularly in the signs at the top. Next one down is the blue. That's the, the dusky blue sparklies. No, I'm wrong. Yeah, 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 duh. All right, it's the dusky blue sparklies. That's the number four. <clears throat> Excuse me, where are we going to see the number four today? I have a few over here in this box type thing. Uh, let's see. I know, you 80s kids will know where in the world is Carmen San Diego. It's like, where's Waldo? There's some in here, uh, number four, the blue in here. Four is across the top of the sky, for sure. This one color blue is across the top of the sky and a lot more on this side. So you have blue sparkly in the sky and then you have it dotted here and there to pull your eye down from the top. Okay, and the next one is the red and that is trying to see the other symbol. I keep thinking of the symbol from the last kit. Oh, let's see, where is this red? Okay, there's a little bit in here. It's a 666 Christmas red. It's in there. Uh, I do not see it in the barn, per se. So far, I just see it in the sign and then this. I see a few in the tractor. Yeah, it's got a bunch in the tractor. Sparkly in the tractor. I guess that's where the moonshine, <laughs> the moonlight is glinting off of it. Yeah, off of, there's some shiny patches. When you use a tractor that often, you're gonna have shiny patches and in the pillow here. So you've got you've got pops of the red to bring your eye around. Okay, then you we have the darker of the two oranges. Let's see, uh, in here, is that it? There's not many of them. I mean, and it's a very obvious orange. In this sign here, and then coming down here, and a little bit in here. That's it, that's it for the orange. It's centrally located, that's, that's unusual. But let's see where the light, the light bright orange is. It's a different sign altogether. There's some here, there's some here. There's some on the shelf here and across the top of the shelves. Uh, in the middle here, on this crate, so there's some in pieces, in vertical pieces, and this is a vertical piece as well. And in the tree, up in the tree. So you've got the bright orange in the tree and you've got another color. Uh, some of the, was it the yellow that's up in the tree as well? Yes, the yellow and the orange are in the tree. That's going to go pow. There's a few up here. You've got orange in the bottom of the tractor where you've got yellow in the middle and the red at the top. So this tractor is really focal. And then you have pops of it in with the antique stuff. So that's how your eye is going to move around the piece. There's so much to see in here. Your eye is going to keep moving no matter what. This is awesome. I really love this. Okay, again, 64 colors. It is a square kit. It's called Antiques Antique Store by Bigelow Illustrations. It's an 80 by 60. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And there's always going to be something to see. It'll be a challenge confetti-wise. It's, it's an advanced kit, I've got to tell you, because of all the confetti. But it's going to be fun. 
If you like, there is some color blocking across the sky, but if you don't like confetti, I would avoid this one because the grass is all confetti of greens and browns. Flowers are confetti. The antiques are confetti. The tractor is confetti with some lineage. The tree is confetti. Part of the sky is. The barn is confetti. The signs are confetti. You can, it's all confetti except for the sky. So uh, it's going to be very enjoyable, very beautiful when it's done. Very beautiful. Well, divas, speaking of hex signs and Pennsylvania Dutch and antiques, um, don't forget to check out my playlist. Uh, July, I think it's like the 1st to the 8th is the Kutztan Folk Festival. And I'm going out there for two days of the festival to do interviews, to show you the Pennsylvania Dutch crafts and all kinds of fun things. I hope you can join me uh, for those videos when they get edited and up. So I'm hoping that not only do you love this diamond painting, but that you'll come back for curiosity's sake and see what the different ethnic crafts of the Pennsylvania Dutch, Pennsylvania Deutsche people are. <clears throat> In my heritage. All right. See you around, divas. Divinely inspired, vivacious associates. <laughs> Bye.